Hello and welcome. Good evening and good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming over and I look forward to being here today with you all. My name is Anna Gonkalves and I'm from Miraculous Lives and before we begin I'd love to light a candle of peace and love for everyone right now everyone who is living on earth right now we're all going through a transition at the moment and there is a lot taking place as we're shedding our layers and returning to the light so this candle is going out to you all this candle that I'm actually lighting it's a candle that marks joy in our lives and I'm thinking of you all and as you can see it's actually lit facing a heart mirror so it's transmitting out to you all even more I'm delighted to be here and today I'm going to be talking about what's been going on this week. I can say that for me it's been quite an eye opener especially with how I have been showing up and where I am in my life and everything that has been happening since the solstice last Friday it feels like it's been purging us to release and release and ultimately to return us into our heart and I wanted to share more about that because as I've had that awakening in a way it's led me to express anger and sadness and I felt that it had to come out because there was these uncontrollable feelings of suppression being held in because I wasn't being a hundred percent in alignment with who I am and since that has come out I'm feeling connected to where I am and what I'm really passionate about so on Sunday you might have noticed I was feeling very very nervous because in the way it felt like I was being myself and in another way it felt like I was trying to be someone that I was not especially with explaining about my services and I realized that we are all wonderful human beings and that roles do not define us and ultimately we are here just to be our light and that's what I realized and with that I'll be talking about wholeness with every experience that is currently surfacing it's very positive because it's enabling us to return to who we truly are and I know there's a lot of resistance that is coming up with that and a lot of fear as well and sadness I have felt that too and you know it's okay to feel that way I don't feel that we need to fight it we just need to be at one with that it's okay to feel this big hugs your way Sue big hugs your way and it's okay to feel where you are at and so with that usually it helps us more to get in touch with what's really going on deep down and how we can be more in touch with ourselves in a deeper way and there's no need to be afraid of that there's no need to be afraid of your sadness of your anger of your guilt of your shame there doesn't need to be any guilt or you don't need to feel afraid because that's the truth that's all that is coming up 
and really be with that and really respect yourself as well with that it's important to be truthful and honest with where you are and I know that this week especially there has been quite a lot of pulling and pushing and purging and so everything that is coming up it's very positive at the time I know that it may not be positive like for instance for myself I felt a huge surge of anger and sadness because I realized that I wasn't actually being true to myself I wasn't really fulfilling my purpose in the way that brings me joy and passion and I'm sensing that's what everyone really needs the most right now to follow your own calling and to really go into the direction of what truly lights you up and the more joyful you are the more happy and connected the more expansive you become because you're doing what lights you up and you're feeling enthusiastic and passionate about it and you're saying yes to yourself and there's a lot of goodness in that because you're being yourself by choosing to follow your passion and really connect with it and you also don't need to live up to anyone's expectations of of you or what you think that you know if someone is doing something that you're very inspired by I know how easily overwhelming it can be or you know you can get very inspired that you almost take on their presence and you want to be like them I feel now it's more than ever important to be yourself be honest with yourself a hundred percent truthfully if you're feeling a certain way that's perfectly okay there is no wrong there's no right it's just how you're feeling and be your own example be your own change if something comes up that you don't know how to handle communicate from your heart really be honest with yourself and really share and communicate with people in that way because when you show up for yourself you're giving yourself a chance to really be in love to really be in the wholeness of who you are almost like living f yourself living who you are in the best way showing up for yourself I'm reading the chat box and I love what brother Sean has shared that it's miraculous to think that we can connect with friends of like-minded in so many parts of the world on the PC what will be next for mankind in the next 10 years excellent question and I wholeheartedly agree I love being here in unison with you all and I always feel very connected and like we're all here supporting one another and being there for one another and hugging in a way and it's incredible how we can be here you know where I am in the UK and another person in the USA or Australia so it's really incredible and I'm truly blessed to you brother Sean for bringing us all in this way truly truly blessed thank you it's very wholesome and that leads on to really being around people who see you for who you are and really bring out the best in you and who support you as well who don't bring you down and who don't try to take advantage of you because that's what I have been also picking up lately I've been picking up a lot on boundaries 
I also realized that I was being way too nice as a person going above and beyond for everyone and in a way my boundaries were being broken by uh, people and so even with people around me who have been clients and I realized that actually I don't need to try to be too nice I can just be myself I can just be honest truthful and it's amazing because when I realized that it's like a big weight dropped off my shoulders and I returned to the center of who I am and I was able to be more connected and really support others in a much more loving way just by being honest and coming to the realization that I don't need to try and please anyone and that being myself is just good enough. So that is the topic of today. Being yourself is very important and at the same time I know that it can often be a challenge especially in this society that we live in so I advise you to always return to yourself always have that time to look within and give yourself space and time just to be and don't rush yourself most importantly don't rush yourself because I also realized that I was looking too much on the outside and I was rushing myself I wasn't giving myself the space and time to be and connect this has all happened this week it's I'm very blessed and if this is happening with you also just let me know it's very key to find out what's coming up and again like I said it's not ro wrong or right it just is and these experiences enable us to connect with ourselves and who we are and when we start to open up to the truth and the reality we can see what is going on and we can bring love and light to it and that's how I feel today I feel the total opposite of how I felt say a Sunday Monday Tuesday because I felt that it needed to come up because there was there wasn't something that I was addressing because of I was losing myself in other people so much so that I wasn't looking within myself and so I'm very grateful to that because I am feeling very connected to myself and I feel enthusiastic and it's interesting as well because on Sunday I felt very very nervous and usually being on here I don't feel nervous at all to be myself so it feels like in a way it was leading up to that and I'm very grateful for that and it's very important for you all just to observe and to pay attention to how you're feeling and what's coming up and you know it's like we're all on different journeys anyway and wherever you're at is perfect because we're always learning I'm always learning every second and I just love being here just to learn and get deeper in touch with myself and it's amazing because when you have those revelations you start feeling more love for yourself and you feel more hopeful and connected with everyone whereas prior I was feeling slightly disconnected when I was looking outside and now I'm inside myself and I feel very filled with love and I feel supported by everyone and it's like this joy inside of me and this appreciation for life and just feeling filled with opportunities around me and all the possibilities and I know that is what happens when you are in that space with yourself when you are feeling love and you're feeling connected to God source or the universe and I feel that place is when you're most in sync 
with who you are and your life and that's when your life flows when you're completely connected to your heart and you're feeling that joy and that gratitude because that's the place that we deserve to be every second every minute every day that is really who we are and I'm really grateful to be in myself and be in that space because that's nature and I really love you all for being here as well thank you brother Sean I, I saw that thank you so I advise that everyone especially if anyone is going through anything like this at the moment I know it can often be difficult if you're going through a challenging time or feeling restricted in some way you can you know choose to do something that makes you happy or you can just drop into how you're feeling like with the sadness or with the anger usually there's something that needs to come out because it's been suppressed inside and it's actually very good for it to come out and you know it's okay it's fine it's fine the anger to me it helped me a lot because it, it made me realize where I had been so it's actually very positive and in a way it did feel like I was really feeling the complete energy of anger I felt like the deeper that I went with it the more clearer that I got with what's happening and I do feel that emotions really need to be expressed in a safe way and need to come out because we are emotional beings and we're energetic beings as well and when you express that emotion you can it's almost like you reach the other side you connect to yourself because as it surfaces it's like something that was there that was once blocking you is no longer blocking you so it's actually very positive to release it to feel it and then release it in a positive way as well because when the emotion surfaces and it goes you feel a lot better as well instead of having it inside you for so long it's just good to release it you can even dance or you know do different activities which puts the energy into a better place so that it will benefit you if you're feeling in a certain way or you can just be with it I've always be been with the emotion because I have found that it's what's worked for me and being with it for me means to actually just feel it you know it's coming out and then once it comes up it's like the answers start coming up you know of why I'm feeling this way and so it triggers the deeper issue within and then I get the answers and that's why that had happened so wherever you are and whatever you're going through I think it's really about just listening to yourself and being honest with yourself and following your own path of what is best for you that's the most important thing to really do what you feel will serve you the most especially when you're expressing your feelings and emotions you know if it means that you want to take a walk that's you know that's that's a great option if it means that you just want to be with it I know that sometimes we try to avoid it and suppress it from experience to me it's actually made me the most depressed like I have shared with what happened it's almost like the emotion has been stuck in my body so long that when it has come out it's come out as an unexpressed emotion in a different way like through anger however I have always understood 
why that's come up and the main issue from where the anger was coming up from however in the actually very much more effective way is to really use that energy that is coming up if you feel that it's not positive use it out into a positive way that you can make use for it like a creative project or going for a walk or dancing or also actually if you're feeling angry what is actually a very good way to e express it is to get some pillows and punch them in a safe environment if you really feel like do that you know doing that then do that that is actually very therapeutic and when you just express yourself in that way you'll be releasing the tension and you'll also be coming back to yourself it's almost like you're a new person all of a sudden after you've expelled that energy and that's what we all really need to expel the energies that we have stored in our body because there are so many things that we all have gone through and for years some things stay in our body if we don't completely let go of the experience or forgive ourselves and when it stays in the body it can have a prolonging effect and it will come up in a different way which is usually a little bit destructive so it's actually good to be with your feelings and as they come up you can try expressing yourself channeling them in a better way that really serves you I hope that that has helped because it's actually very important to to really just pay attention to feelings and emotions and also not to take yourself seriously that's very important not to get yourself too attached to the experience or to the emotion just being with it you know feeling the emotion and being with it usually it's you know a very grounding way of you observing what's coming up it's like you know this is coming up yes I get that this is coming up you know what is the purpose and then you know am I willing to let this go and then if that's a yes you let it go if it's a no then maybe you can express yourself in the way that's beneficial to yourself in the creative means or going for a walk by actually doing something physically to channel the energy in a way that it's going to be going out of your body and I really think that it's important especially this week to be as grounded as possible with yourself because the more grounded we are the better receivers we are of light and so when you start practicing being grounded and really paying attention to how you're feeling especially your emotions and feelings when they come up and then you know being able to release them and being able to just become aware of how you're feeling and you know even asking yourself is this emotion really how I'm feeling or is this coming from me because there are certain emotions and feelings that half the time don't come from ourselves because we're surrounded by so many people that we get overwhelmed by their own feelings and emotions and so grounding yourself or going for a walk or being in nature is actually a great way to really cleanse your aura and your body and just to be connected with yourself and the more that you do that the more you get grounded as well and you become a better channel to connect with your heart and your own spirit because every day there's so much static and we get overwhelmed with so many things bombarded with the TV the media 
and even the mind the mind there's always things in there and it's always constantly thinking about the past and the future and all it really desires is peace and when you go to the park or you are in nature it's almost like you feel this overflowing love coming through you from Mother Earth bathing you and you know it wants to take care of you that's why it's here that's why the air is here that's why the trees are here that's why the garden is here that's why we are all here really we are all provided for and ultimately life provides for us so the more that you can look after yourself and take care of yourself the more life will provide for you I hope that you have enjoyed tonight's or today's show for those of you who are in the USA or any part of the world I'm really happy to have shared what I have because it feels like it's very important very important because being grounded with ourselves and really paying attention to our emotions and feelings of and what's going on right now is a way that we can connect with who we are a way that we can be more truer with what's coming up for us in our life and really nurture ourselves we are really here to take care of our bodies and become better people and really love ourselves unconditionally so what I want you to take away today is that it's okay to put yourself first in fact it's the most important thing you need to put you first don't think about other people your happiness is number one if you're not feeling happy then well you have you know some digging to do there's an opportunity for you to really get back into your heart and really start nurturing who you are there is absolutely nothing wrong with putting your own needs first you really need to take care of yourself and I advise that strongly because we as a species if we don't put ourselves first then we can't really take care of ourselves of other people and by loving ourselves unconditionally we can better take care of others and come from our hearts so I hope that you have enjoyed today's show and remember you are number one and you are loved and you are the most beautiful wonderful person here always remember that big hugs to you all and thank you all so much for being here I appreciate you and I'm so happy that you have been here have a wonderful day or evening and enjoy peace and love in your heart